okay, I love that people actually interact with me and we have that relationship where they can be like, hey, I wanna know this about the back end of the business, can we go over it? Okay, so it's gonna be a two part kind of meeting. Um, I'm gonna save the first part. It's, the first part is gonna be all together, right? What we're gonna do is I'm gonna break down the actual cost it takes to run a business every single week. Okay, so like what my costs are. This is actually a, a real report, okay? This was mine four months into the business, okay? So I made it like, hey, after you're established, because in the first month, it's kind of unrealistic because who pays for your expenses? Upline. Yeah, well, Upline. Uh, Upline pays for the expenses. Okay, Richard pays for mine. Who pays for Alexis's? You. And you. Me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I am you. Uh, <laughs> you are me. <laughs> you, me, him, everybody. <laughs> I don't know what you're feeding him, but he is too damn me. Okay. Amos, you must start three? Yeah, two? three. Three favorite ones. Like, no, 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 you no, seen no. it? Oh no, definitely yeah. seen it. Who's not seen Rush Hour 3? Holy what? smokes. Yeah. That should be a team night. Movie team night. night. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. team night movie. Oh, and no. then have a projector. Oh. Popcorn. Yeah. Canceled. Yeah. No more meetings. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, okay. So anyways, uh, what I do want to do is, is it's really important to know the operational costs. Okay? So this is going to be a two-part meeting. One, or actually three-part kind of. I'm going to ask, what it, we're going to actually calculate how much it costs to run a traditional business, our business, and then we're gonna talk about how money is actually made for owners separately. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so Fog Water's gonna talk, and then 5G's gonna talk, because I'm gonna break it down in depth, that way I get no more questions. Ooh. Ooh. Make sense? Makes sense. Cool, so, let, let's first cost, uh, what is like a, a franchise? Starbucks. Well, like a, def like a, a definition of a franchise, sorry. Yeah. A chain. Like a chain restaurant, okay? No, that was the most simple way. Oh, that's so funny. I made it so much more complicated on you. Yes, a chain. Okay, now what are some chains? Starbucks. Starbucks is one of them? McDonald's. McDonald's? Chick-fil-A. Wendy's, Chick-fil-A. Gas stations. Gas stations? Chipotle. 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 Food Lion, Walmart, all that. Okay, cool. I heard Starbucks first. Is it cool if we go with that one? Yeah. Okay, we're going to talk about how much it costs to start up a Starbucks. Okay. Karen, did you say that? Yeah. <laughs> oh, makes sense. I heard, I heard that. Like six dollar coffee, sign me up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you get like the vent. You get like the the. Isn't it cool that Starbucks is so expensive that they have to have their own language? They're like no large. F that. You get it. Uh, what is it called? Venti. 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 Like what is venti? Large. 20. 20. Can you go the other way? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Cool. Thank you for asking. I appreciate that a lot. Cool. So, what do y'all think it costs, first off, to start up? Uh, if I'm like, hey, I wake up one day and I'm like, no, nope, I want to run a Starbucks. Mm. Let's own a Starbucks. What's the first thing we need? A building. A building. Okay. Now, let's say we rent. Let's say we don't buy the building. Okay. We see the, does anyone know the average square footage of a, of a Starbucks building? It's not the biggest. Can we agree? No. no. But it's also not the smallest? No. Okay. Does anybody know, like, what, what would y'all say the average square footage? Like, 1,000. 1,000. Yeah, like 1,000. 1,000 is, is really small. 2,000. It's like somebody else's apartments. Mm -hmm. Like, it's like, 3,000. Huh? 3,000. It's about 3,000 to? Uh, so just to give y'all perspective, this office is 2,000 square feet. This looks bigger than a Starbucks, so. It does. Yeah. Right, but think about the back end, think about the freezer, think about like the, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're seeing the part that we see. We're, so, so it's about 3,000 square feet to about 5,500 square feet, okay? Does anybody know the average, we're gonna go do it as in Raleigh, okay, so I just looked it up this morning. Does anybody know for commercial buildings, how much the, the dollar per square foot is? I think it's like 32, 27 to 32. Close. It depends on the area. North Hills is 37. The, the not so best zip code that they just started building in, it's about $22 per square foot. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So if you ever wanna find the cost of a building, you can do the square footage times the square foot divided by 12 months in the year. And I'll find you how much your rent would be per month. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So let's, let, let's do the math right now, okay? So let's do 25 <laughs> feet per square foot. Okay, so we're opening it like not in the worst neighborhood, but not in the best neighborhood, but we're doing it in the average, bless you by the way, sorry. So 25 square feet, can somebody be my calculator? Okay, 25, and we, let's say, let's do the average. On average, like 3,000 to 4,000 square feet. Let's do the, uh, the middle, let's do 4,000 square feet. Okay, and then you divide that by 12. 
to $8,333 per month for, for rents on a building. Everyone know how we got that? Yeah. Okay, cool. So the building, let's say $8,500 to do that per month. Okay. So usually, in order to go into a building, like when you got your apartment, what did you need to pay up front? Security, yeah. Security deposit plus? First, first, month. Month. first month and sometimes also last month. last month. So can we agree that we need to put a security, how many security deposits was the exact amount of rent? How many of you have security deposits? I know my ones. Okay, cool. So can we agree to move into this place? It would be like 25K? Because you need to pay first month's rent? last month's rent, and then the security deposit, which is eight, sixteen, twenty-four, plus another 1500. Can we agree it's just 25K? Yeah. Everyone with me on that math? Anybody wanna challenge me on that? It's okay, I right, understand, right. understand. Is anybody confused yet on how we got to this number? No one? Awesome, cool. You are? Yeah. Cool, so what we did was we got the average cost per square foot in Raleigh, yeah. which was $25 per square foot, and then we got the average square footage of a Starbucks building. So you do 25 times 4,000 square feet. That gives you about 110K. And then you divide that by 12 months because that's how much the full lease term would pay. Uh -huh. So you divide that by 12 and you get 8,330 bucks. Okay. okay. So in order to move into an apartment, usually you need to pay a security deposit, mm -hmm. your first month and your last month's rent. Everyone with me on that? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So you do this, this times three. Okay, cool. Everyone with me on that? Yeah. Cool. Now, what else do you need? We got the building. Check. What else do we need? Furniture. Furniture. This is not. This is related, but not related. But does Starbucks gotta pay Star Starbucks to the first one? Yes. Yes, we do. You're so good. Okay. The next thing before I forget is a franchise fee. Okay. Furniture. Okay. So they got the the really cool looking seats. They got. The lights, they got the furniture, they got the paintings. How much do you think it costs on average? Mm -hmm. uh, three grand. Fifteen grand. I would say ten. Ten. That's close. Fifteen. It's about eight grand to furnish, furnish, uh, furnish a whole entire Starbucks, and it's a pretty good investment, right? Because do they ever need to uh, replace anything? Yeah. Rarely, right? Okay. So cool. Eight thousand for furniture. Okay. Now franchise fee. Does anybody know how much it costs? So. Uh, if you want to own a McDonald's, I know for a fact, you have to pay $25,000 to use their name. Cool? Okay, now in order to do a, um, actually the cheapest one on the entire chain is actually um, Chick-fil-A. You only have to pay about 15K. Because there's so many, right? But, but yeah, it's, it's, it's only because you have to have a certain, a lot more qualifications than just being able to afford it in order to run Chick-fil-A. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Now, does anybody know the franchise fee for Starbucks? 20. Like 30 okay, I know, I, I know it switches per region, okay, but I, I, we had somebody who was a Starbucks GM, um, worked for Chain, and she said over there it was about 40K. Okay, so it takes 40K to just use Starbucks' name. Now, is that like a one-time pay? It's a one-time pay. <clears throat> Oh, I think it actually it's a three year thing. So every three years. Okay. Three. I, I might need to check up on that, or fact check me on that. But I know for a fact, you need to pay this before you can even open it up. Mm. Okay, now what else do we need? So we got we got the title, the we, got the, we got the building. Huh? Okay, equipment. Okay, equipment. Yeah. Now this is gonna blow y'all's mind. Mm. Okay, now, does anybody know how much that coffee maker costs? Like three grand. It's at least yeah, I know 10 to 15,000. Okay. Go ahead, Brian. It's like 44 to 48K. Close, okay, you did the last math. So it's $27,000 for that one coffee machine. And the reason why is because it needs to make a coffee every 4.8 seconds. So it's industrial grade, okay? Each Starbucks has about three of these. Now think about it, don't they make their money's worth? Think about how much coffee they go through from five to seven. <laughs> can, they afford, can they afford a Keurig? Yes. yes. <laughs> Like, can they afford to have a Keurig making that much coffee? No. No, no. no right? They need an industrial grade. Okay, it's actually twenty-seven thousand dollars for that, that that piece of equipment, and they usually have three. And is that the only piece of equipment they have? No. No, they got the the nitro cold brews. They got the everything else. So on average, the equipment will, but that is the most important equipment. The average equipment will cost. So can we say 
lowballing it, can we say it's another 50K? Yeah. Can we agree on that? Mm -hmm. That's for like the coffee makers, that's the nitro cold brews, that's the, the, the coffee bean grinders, that's everything. Okay, now what else do we need? Inventory. Inventory. We have the coffee maker, and now we just need the coffee. How much pounds of coffee do you think one Starbucks goes through in a single day? Ooh. 125? A lot. Can we agree? A ton. Yeah. Okay, now depending on where the location, anywhere on average is about 100 to about 500. Is that, is that so much coffee? Yeah. Is that crazy? Does yeah, anybody know the cost per, per coffee bean? Or like cost per pound of coffee bean? Sorry. Oh. <laughs> that's a lot. I don't think that's yeah, a lot of pounds. It's actually like 15 bucks. Oh, it's like 15 right? Per, per, yeah, oh, that's at that's a sold, sold for, for like unit price, if you're buying it from wholesale to then, it's about 37 cents. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? You, you get to sell a coffee for six bucks and for a pound of coffee beans, it's like 37 cents. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. But then they also need the cups, they also need the labels, they also need the straws, they need all this stuff. So on average, just for inventory, it's probably another 5K. And you got to do payroll. And you got to do what? Payroll. Okay. Oh, inventory. No. You said payroll? Like as your labor, labor cost. Oh, as a next one. No, you need employees. employees. Sorry. Now, do they get paid on how many cups of coffee they make? No. No, they're like, hey, you, you need to make 200 cups of coffee and we're going to pay you a smooth 12 bucks an hour. Can we agree that's like the yeah. minimum wage is 7.25 here? Starbucks, can we agree? Mm -hmm. I've, been, I've been sending with leaders a lot of, a lot, a lot of memes. Um, <laughs> and I've been sending them now hiring positions. Right, and I found out that this girl, 24 year old, where, where did she work? Abercrombie. Abercrombie. We're, we're finding out how much this guy works there. Um, and it was like 48 hours for like 12 bucks an hour. I was like, yeah, you work with for the like, college degree? With a college degree. And she had to make a minimum sales a day. And I was like, you, you, have a college, you have a job lending license for this cloth folding business. <laughs> so crazy. Right? And so we've been, we've been doing it around. I've been getting a lot of like how much hourly jobs make. And I, I haven't asked a Starbucks person, but can we agree it's probably like around 12? Yeah. Anybody want to raise that? Do you want to lower it? I think it's 15. Think. You think it's 15? Yeah. Cool. That's fine. I, I don't know because in Texas, it, the cost per living is lower. So it, it is 12 in, in Texas. Yeah, I, I did not check. I, I have humility enough to say I did not check it in Raleigh. What's up? I made $12 an hour working at Starbucks. Yeah, okay, cool. Sorry, I was last year. Was it? Yeah. That was last year? So, so about, let's say, let's say 15. Now, is there only one employee? No. No. Okay, do you know the average, Brian, usually the average per shift was about three to five, correct? Mm hmm. And then during, like rush hours, which is like six to eight and what? 12 to one and then also five to seven? That was like uh, six to eight. Six to eight? Okay, can we agree there's like maybe like six to eight at that time, six to eight employees? Yeah. Cool, so we do this times, on average, can we say the average, there'll always be five people clocked in? Mm -hmm. Can we agree on that? Mm -hmm. Cool, so if you wanna hire them, right, you need 50, 75 bucks. Minimal for one hour. For one hour, and the average shift is. It's only like four hours. Four hours. Yeah. Oh, well, if you need them for the whole day, because there's people clocking in, there's people clocking out. Oh, but yeah. at all time, we said there's gonna be five people clocked in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're open from five to. Ten. Five to ten. Is it? Is it ten? Let's let's say let's let's say nine. Let's say nine. Uh, that'll be twelve hours plus another four hours. Sixteen. <laughs> 75 times 16, what is that? About 9,000? 1,200. Sorry, 900, sorry. 1,200. Is it around there? Mm -hmm. 1,200. I, I believe. I said 9,000. Cool, 1,200. So it's gonna cost another 1.2K in order to have employees. What else is there needed? Are you including inventory in food and things like that? Yeah, I included that, we included that. You think it would be more? I do. Yeah, me too. But we highballed a lot of other stuff, so I'm, I'm gonna let it slide. Um, you gotta have lights. Okay. Yeah, electricity, electricity. Utilities, right? Because uh, is it just rent or like, and everything gets paid? No, it's also utilities. And water. Yeah. Let's do utilities and water and all that stuff together. Okay. Does Anybody? utilities include trash? Feed your trash. <coughs> Altogether, how much do you think that would cost? Um, Five hundred thousand dollars. 
Our, our average one, our average utility bill is about 85 bucks, right? $85? How much is the utility bill? My utilities are like over $200. Really? It's no way. Yeah. Well, I know when I manage the restaurant, What's it? What's it? Check my out. utility bill is that my water bill? $800. No, I try to keep my apartment bill is $200. Oh. Cool. So uh, if, if, uh, if a one person was 200 for for a month, how much do you think in a uh, uh, Starbucks is for a full month? You said like $10,000. Because that's like $10,000 a day. For utilities, water, and trash. Yeah, the water bill is probably going to be about eight hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars. The water bill is probably going to be that's probably going to be probably about four hundred because they're mainly water because they're making coffee. Mm -hmm. And, and no. trash is you're going to pay that the same price every month, so that can't be no more than one hundred fifty dollars. Probably about twelve hundred max. So I would say she said that way too confident for me to question her. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is that on a monthly basis? Yes. Yeah. Monthly basis. I agree. Anybody else disagree? No. We do fight. No. <laughs> she was a mathematician there. Okay, cool. Anything else? Uh, what about like advertising or marketing? Yes. Or yes. When it comes to yes. The recruiting. Advertising. I'll put ads. Anybody seen a billboard or a commercial for Starbucks? Yes. Okay. Anybody seen an ad on? It's kind of weird. They're like getting to ads on like Instagram now. But are we saying so, this as this franchise is doing ads themselves, or Starbucks is a whole doing the ads? So the way it works, I found this out, is the way this office works for utilities. So the way it works at the end of the year, or every month, whatever the wholesale of this entire building was on utilities, they divide it by the number of residents. Which sucks or doesn't suck? But for, for ads. But for them, they do the exact same way. The cost of advertising divided by the region. So they have a regional, uh, a, a region, that's funny, they have a regional manager, right? And it, it costs, and they bulk it, and so however many franchise owners there are, they divide it for that cost. Oh, thank you. That makes sense? Thank you. Cool. So the, now guess the average cost. It's probably about $500. Mm -hmm. For ads, for per, per building? $25. It's actually about two k Cool. Let's, let's go through these a little faster. Okay. Benefits. Can we make ads? Yeah, benefits. <laughs> for your employees, are you including benefits? Because there are benefit workers. Let's not, go, let's not go that detail. Okay. Let, let's take it like if it were, they were just a start. Start with, with just bodies. No lines. Okay, well, what else would we need? Can we get that's probably all of it? Yeah. About all of it? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, cool. Now, is that better? Okay, so we got 25K plus 8K. That is 33K plus 40K. Right, that's 70, 73K plus another 50K. Where are we at? 123. 123K? Yes. 128K? 130K? And then another 3,000? 135K? Mm -hmm. Can we read? That's about a, a rough estimate? <laughs> no, it was 135K ready to go. Who can, who can open up a Starbucks right now? Right, so immediately we would need to go to what? The bank. The bank. And get a? Loan. Loan. Now, if we take off 135K, will we only pay back 135K? No. Nope. nope. Okay. Right, because we got what? Interest. interest. Okay. On average for a business, did everybody know the percent interest? That's okay. We won't, go, we won't go that deep into it. But there is interest. Okay. It's about 4.3. Okay. Close. Good job. Okay. Now, does everything we make immediately go to the loans? Can we pay it off immediately? No. Can we, can we agree? The moment we open up that Starbucks, it's making money? Yeah. Nope. No, but now it goes back to? Business. It goes back to the business. The business is eating always, always, always. The employees are eating always, always, always. They can't just not buy coffee, because then they don't make money. So it's like whatever's left goes back to the loan. Agree? Mm -hmm. So does anybody know, on average, how much a Starbucks owner is in debt? How many years? Three to five. 10 years. Close. Mm -hmm. Seven years. Close. Eight years. It's actually about five to eight years that an owner is in the red for Starbucks. So you, you are not making money as a Starbucks owner for five to eight years. Now, can we agree after that you're making pretty good money? Mm -hmm. But for five to eight years, you are paying off this loan. You owe the bank, you are the banks. That make sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. Is now, that with paying them? Like they are getting paid out of that and they're just taking their back end and spending it on their so own? So think about it like this, right? So we open up the business, uh -huh. okay? 
we, we let's say uh, the the <coughs> let's say the Starbucks people they make 200k in one day. Okay, do they get to put 200k right back into the loan? No, no, no. No, they got to pay the employees. They got to go ahead and stock up back up on the inventory. They got to stock back up on the metal. They got to stock back up on the coffee beans. They got to pay for um, actually somebody to come in and check the equipment every week. Okay, for for uh, FDA reasons. Okay, and all this stuff. So immediately they're actually not able to pay this off until the end of every month. So actually it's so cost expensive because they have a really high what? Does anybody know what it's called? Overhead. High overhead. Overhead means how much it costs to run the business. And they have a very low, what's left? They don't have a very low gross profit, but they have a very low what? Profit margin. Okay, their profit is very low. It's the same reason why General Motors, anybody know GM? It's the same reason why they made $120 million uh, in 2016, and they still lost money, because their expenses for operating a business were actually one billion. It, yeah. Imagine, imagine saying, hey, I made $126 million last year, and I'm broke. Mm -hmm. So it really doesn't matter how much you make, it matters how much you can take home. Take home. It matters about the margins. Everyone make sense of that? Cool, now let's, now let's talk about our business, okay, and why it's so different, okay? So, this is what it takes on a weekly basis. Now, to open up our business, we just need furniture, right? Yeah. Anybody know how much it costs? Yeah, Richard your paper, free. That's rich. Okay, do I have to pay a franchising fee? No. No, I, I named the company. Building? First month, last month's rent? He paid for it. He paid for it. But on average, if we were to pay for it, it cost about it cost me about six K. If you wanna know. So my question, you're saying that Rich, is that if I get the name right, Rich? Richard. Richard. So Richard paid for it. So is this in terms alone that they're gonna have to pay back or is no. this so so when Alexis actually completed the so Richard was my mentor. Uh -huh. I'm so sorry, I should have explained this. Okay, Alexis is mentors who? You. Me, uh -huh. right? So when she completed the training and she opened up her company, I paid for her first month's expenses. That way, she, uh, let, let, let's get to the chase, okay? How long does it take to start profiting in this business? Immediately. It, it, it took about 20 minutes. Because I paid for all of Alexa's expenses the moment she got into business. I paid for it for the first month. Okay, so she's immediately in the green. Ownership investment. Ownership investment. <laughs> I love that inside joke. I love that inside joke. Okay, make sense? We're here. I'm, I'm there. So I guess I'm confused as in terms of it's just generosity? It's more so generosity. Like they're just generous. It's more so I. She's put in six months of hard work. I'm going to open her up with, with the company and the first month's expenses. It, it's that I'm making a long term investment. We'll talk about why it's a smart investment afterwards. Okay, because the client, in, in, in short term, the client pays me to keep mentoring her and keep running a successful business. So I wanna make sure she keeps running a successful business by running the first month completely expense free. That way she can just make high what? Profit. Exactly. Does it come out of your money though? Yeah, out of the business. Out of the business. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Heads up. See it more as a uh, entrepreneurship. <laughs> yeah. It's more an investment. I promise you, the, co the cost it took to, to open up Alexis, I've already made back. A long time ago. A long time ago, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Does that make sense? Uh, I would just say, we, it's all, I would just want to make the point that like, we've all had our mentors pay us, open us up, so it's almost like paying for it. Okay. Yeah, my, Richard paid for me, someone paid for Richard, someone paid for Richard's mentor Richard. as well. Richard's Richard. <laughs> <laughs> just Richard's everywhere. Is that? <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll break it down. Hands on. Okay, cool. So, immediately we start profiting, agree? And it's because we have a very low what? Overhead. Our business has a very low overhead and a very high Profit. profit margin. It does not cost much, much for us to profit, and here's why. Okay, these are my expenses broken down. <coughs> okay, we're gonna go down through each one. So every month, I mean every week, I pay for my accountant, uh, what we call a hub. Her name is Laura Porter. Anybody know how much an accountant usually charges? Forty dollars an hour. Forty dollars an hour. <laughs> Forty. And she worked. Can we agree she's not working just one hour? No. No, she's probably putting in about how much? Oh, Ours does, but probably about, oh. probably about 40 hours, agreed? Because a business expense is, is a lot to take track of. It's a big Red Bull. Hmm? 
Wow. I'm gasping. So sorry to call you out. That just it'd take me by surprise. That's fine. That's fine. I don't see excess anywhere on there. Um, okay, so, so, so $40 an hour, $40 an hour times 40 hours a week. Can we agree that's about 1600 bucks? But we pay 100. Here's the reason why. Our brokerage firm bought out the entire accounting, like accounting firm. And they're like, hey, I will, I will make sure you will have always customers if you give us a unit price. Anybody ever been to Costco or Sam's Club? Mm -hmm. yeah. Is it cheaper or more expensive? Cheaper. Cheaper, cheaper because you buy in bulk. bulk. That's what Larry did in business. <laughs> Isn't that kind of funny? Think about like we're, we're buying tissues in bulk and he's buying businesses. Love it. And, and so we're able to go ahead and save so much money because he bought it in bulk and then she's doing this for 150 owners around the country. So you do 100 a week? Mm -hmm. right. 100 a week. Times, times 150. Well, for that's much she makes right. on average. But she has also the team, so she spreads it. She personally does it. Her name's Laura Porter. Okay, Alexis uses her. Zach does not. You do not have to use all my accountant that I provide. Hands up. I know Zach has an accountant in his family. If one day he's like, hey, I want her to start doing my accounting, she, he definitely could. So you do not have to have a hub. It just makes sense. Cool? cool. Everyone have any questions on the hub? Herb Joy. Okay, Herb Joy is. Oh my gosh. Actually, we have a question. Come with them. If you start with Hub, could you like switch over later? Yeah, hands on. So if like Laura, Laura does something, I, uh, like if Laura does something I don't like and someone else, another accountant, does something I like, I can just switch over. Okay. Hands on. Like you don't have to start and sign a contract. No contract. No contract. <laughs> but a price box. Yeah. No? Okay, cool. Tough crap. All right. Herb Joy saves my life. <laughs> yeah, we love Herb Joy. The, they are the person that gives you your VZ learning if you're on 5G, and the person that did your slideshows. Like that, that, that entire, where y'all got y'all's digital documents from? Remember how we did like the at will employment, the arbitration, schedule, all that stuff? They provided those statements for us. So I don't have to go and pay a legal team or anything like that. They do it all for me. Make sense? They do all of your badging, okay? They do all of your digital documents, they do all of your payroll processing, anything like that. Herb Joy is awesome. And that's only 50 bucks a week. Accounting taxes, okay. Accounting taxes is, sorry, I wanna make sure it's not on here. Cool, okay, yeah, accounting taxes, this one's there. So for accounting taxes, you gotta understand this. It costs me money to make your check. And then, so the IRS taxes me to, ta to give you a check, and then they tax you for getting a check. Oh, man. IRS is a great business, okay? <laughs> and no one questions it. Okay, so like, let's say, let's say I want to pay someone $1,000, it would cost me on average about 1100 And do you get all 1000 of it? No. No, on average, it's about 13% in North Carolina, so you'd receive about 780 of that. About like seven. So it cost me about eleven dollars to $1,200 to give you 770 and no one's questioning the IRS. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? Okay, so payroll taxes, uh, I mean accounting taxes will differ. That, that is a variable. The more employees you have, the more that will go up. Does it make sense? And the less employees you have, the less it will go up because the less you're paying taxes for employees. Make sense? Cool. Sterling, okay, Sterling, does anybody know what Sterling is? <laughs> huh? Background checks. Yes. <clears throat> That's why he's an assistant manager. Yes, oh, who took a background check? Who took a background check? If I see any hands down. <laughs> Shamaya. Did you need to do a background check? <laughs> no, okay, yes, okay, so usually you would have to pay for those. But instead, we pay a bulk price of $240 a month around there. Okay, that way you can, uh, we can take unlimited background checks. Agree? Okay? You're with me? On average, on a weekly basis, it costs about 66 bucks. Anyone have any questions on any of these so far? No? Cool. Cool. All right, eStream. eStream is awesome. We love them. Okay, eStream will give you, uh, they're the ones who created our documents for the ACP, for 5G side. They're the ones who created all of that. Anything eStream, is anything of our digital. So any anytime y'all have a problem with, y'all ever heard me call like Hosea or um, Luis? He deals with eStream as well. 
So any, if you ever have a problem on your iPad and I call someone, that's what I'm calling. Make sense? Cool. They're, they're, they're one of our channel managers, really. And they work with eStream a lot. That way they can go ahead and, and help us on a daily basis. And that costs about $45 a week. Cool? Workers count. You don't know what that is. I don't have to go deep into that. No? Cool. That's 50 bucks. And then payroll fee. Okay. It, uh, what, what do I use to make all y'all's checks? What do y'all get it through? ADP. ADP. Okay, it's a business. They make money somehow. Okay. So in order to make y'all's checks, so, so, so. Let me talk about this, right? IRS gets me, and then the, right after I'm, I'm laying on the, on the floor, okay, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, payroll, fee, ADP comes and just handles all the, the leftovers. Okay, so it also costs me for you to get a paper check or a pay stub. Make sense? Cool. Anybody have any questions over operational costs? That bracket. What's up? Are we also gonna see the profit margins, not just the loss? Yeah, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do it right now. Oh, okay. Owner bill is part of each stream. Yes, owner bill is part of each stream. Thank you. Good job. Owner bill is um, just a, a subcategory of each stream. Okay, so some people use owner bill, some people use credit card, some, some like that. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. A little more back end. So, any other operational cost questions? I want to make sure I go through this in depth. No question is a dumb question. If you're like, hey, can you go over one of them again? Cool. All right, now let's go to building expenses. My rent, on average, is about $800 a week, okay? For the building, right? For the building. This is from your- Just Not from my house. <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> this is for your like first office, right? No, this is for this office. Oh, okay. I, I added this expense for this office. Okay. They're about the same, actually. Cool. All right, one admin. So admin, who got called by Amber? Oh, anybody you know. remember? Okay, anybody remembering being called saying, hey, we looked over your resume? Raise your hand if you remember that call. Everyone's hand should be up. Uh -huh. she, text, uh, she texted you because you didn't answer. That's what you just oh. <laughs> She's good. <laughs> cool. She's our administrator. Okay, she reads over our resumes and sees who's a good fit for the company. Okay, usually the, uh, an, an owner can have it two ways. They can have an on-site admin or an off-site admin. Does that make sense? Okay, the admins is, is a really a two-part job, okay? A person who's also a recruiter, who's calling and booking people into first rounds, and an admin is the, like also the front desk who, who handles all the stuff, people coming in for interviews. I have an offsite admin because I use, I use, Claire is Richard's business partner. She trains admins full-time, and then I pay to use her services. That costs me on average about $850 a week. Make sense? So she's off-site back in Dallas. Have, she has a team of about 12 administrators who read resumes like in, in, in an office space and they just call and book people in. Usually an owner will also have somebody somewhere in one of these offices calling doing that. Don't you have two admin then? Yes, yes. So I, I split it. I have one recruiter and then I have another administrator. Madison. So are you paying a company 850 or are you paying a person 850? I'm paying the person 850. They book 40 people in for first round a day. Yeah, so it's, yeah. You, I bet, you, you, it's a pretty good, pretty good deal. What's up? So do, you, do you guys like, you know how let's say you get um, an employer, do you like mentor her on how to like make it the excess is not, not past 3,000 or like? Yeah, we'll talk about that. Good job, good question. Hold, hold on to that, put a pin in. Right. Okay, so uh, admins, right? You can train your admin, you can hire your admin. If you have someone who's really into recruiting, you can also do that. Like who are they talking to about recruiting? Alicia, yes, her sister uh, was like, I love recruiting. I'm like, hey, when, when we get Bug Incorporated, you can be the recruiter for her. She's like, well, that's so cool. I'm like, yeah, you don't have to use ours. Like, you don't have to use Claire's. You, 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 like, you're a business owner. You will, you will decide what you want to do, okay? And then social media, okay? Has anyone seen our, uh, our Instagram, our social media, our YouTube, anything like that? Anybody seen us on LinkedIn? Any, I don't handle any of that. No. I am not tech savvy, okay? Like, I am. No. Okay, so we pay someone, right? It's called Better Image Solutions. Okay, his name is Cam Basada. He's from um, Canada. Now he's in New Jersey. Yeah. I always get this part right. Okay. I mean, wrong. Then I got it right. Okay, I pay him, we pay him just $125 to manage three posts a week on Instagram, a post on Twitter, a post on Facebook, a post on LinkedIn, and to update my website. 
125 dollars a week. That's like our digital media guy. Cool. Um, um, ads. Now, where do we apply them? Indeed. 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 Career Builder. What are, what are some other recruiting websites? Jazz HR. Jazz HR. Huh? Monster. Monster. Zip Recruiter. LinkedIn also. Career Builder. Career Builder. Anybody? Good job. We look lost. Anybody know what I'm talking? Anyone know what I'm talking about? Okay, it is. It's not free, guys. It is. It is not free to have those ads up there. It is not. It is not free to have a click to apply button. No, right? And it also, it's also not free to be at the top of the page. Okay. On average, we get to decide how many applicants, like how many, uh, how high on the page we got to decide. A weekly average. So I spent about five hundred dollars for y'all to see that ad on Indeed. A week. Make sense? Okay, cool. Anybody have any uh, questions on building expenses or recruiting? Hey, the social media guy, y'all go through, like, they re uh, refer him or somebody else? So you can use him or you can use someone else. I just go through what Richard did. So I'm like, hey, you seem to be running a profitable business. I want to do what you're doing. Boom. And so when you get promoted, you'll actually sit with whoever you decide to be your social media guy, okay? And you will create your logo. He will create your logo, your company website, and uh, your color scheme, and uh, make a QR code or Google Sheet. Like the reason why when you hit Impulse Link and it pops up as a business, he does all of that. And you can use him, or you can use somebody else. If you have like a digital media guy that you like, you can use it, or you can do it all yourself. Also, you can also do it all yourself. It's a lot of work. <laughs> so it's like you can do, you can like you have a cousin or someone who got a private thing. You can use him. You can use him. Hands up. So basically, you can hire anybody you want for anything. Mm -hmm. It's free reign. This is just what is available. Okay. So wait, can you decide not to use them and then later on want to? Yeah. So like, uh, like me, I was like, when I when I was going into the system manager, I'm like, hey, I want to save money. I want to save as much money as possible. I'm not gonna have a hub. And then I like try to do my first financial report. I'm like, hell no. <laughs> I'm like, a hundred bucks, take it. Because the, the four hours that it took me to do it, I was like, I could have made that money. I was like, yeah, never mind. Yeah. And then so, yeah. That was, that was probably one of my silliest decisions. Social media person too? I'm like, no, never again. Because he's like on every platform. He's awesome. Cool. Any other recruiting and building expenses? Cool. All right, variables, things that will change. Okay, office supplies. Y'all love markers. I, I'm, I'm convinced y'all eat them for lunch. <laughs> convinced y'all take them with y'all in the field. How many of y'all have a, oh, at least one marker in y'all's car right now? Don't lie. <laughs> I have one in my house. Like I saw, I saw Stitch, my dog. He was like chewing on one. I'm like, what are you teaching like a system? Like, <laughs> and I was like, dang, they go everywhere. Anyways, so that, that will change between boards and stuff like that. We'll upgrade these boards to glass pretty soon. Okay, so that that will be a business expense. Uh, business meals. If I ever take someone on meals, and I, I I decide like maybe we pay for them, or we take a whole group out and we cater things like that, like the Christmas party we're catering. Okay, so like that will be a business expense that will go up that week or low lower the next week. I was about to say what? <laughs> on average, because some weeks I don't spend, some weeks I do spend. So a weekly average would be about thirty bucks. Make sense? Okay, travel. Uh, anybody who's here on a road trip? Oh. Who's going on a road trip? <laughs> Who's going on? Yeah, I'm excited about that. Cool. Hey, 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 y'all think that that money's just free? I mean, that that trip is just free? No, we pay for it. Okay, Mike Lay pays for them to stay in an Airbnb for the travel, for the gas, all that stuff. Okay, I'm gonna pay for the travel and the Airbnb and all that stuff in order to travel. Make sense? Okay, when we go on, when we go on, uh, we'll go on conferences. Okay, the hotels don't book themselves. Make sense? Like that y'all have expense paid trips because they're paid for by the business. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, where are we at? Travel 70, okay. Computers, I don't know what that is. Subscription, I was like, so. Computer subscription, I was like, what is that? Okay, cool, yes, that, that is a, a variable. It can be uh, at any time, so like you see uh, all this stuff. So like right here, in order to have it, it's messing up. I don't even know I'm paying for it. But, right, if you ever subscribe for like to have Ads up or stuff like that around the like right there to have like the thing rolling cost money. The loop, the loop. That's what, thank you so much. Cost money stuff like that. KTVQ, all that stuff. Make sense? Cool. And then miscellaneous. If you ever have like some other stuff, right? Like things can get lost in, the, in, in between the lines. Cool.
Cool? Total will be $3,000.06. Oh, $3,000.06. Oh, wait. Now let's talk about the profit margin. I know Desiree wanted to talk about that. Okay, now, can we agree? That's a lot less than 135K. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. So we have a very low overhead and a high profit. The reason why is that we're gonna do our example from last week, okay? We made 118 sales last week for the 5G crew. Is it okay if we bump it up to 120? Yeah. Okay. We get paid how much per sale? Oh, actually, actually, let me be 100% honest, okay? Does that every, is every, if, uh, every person that we sold to gonna install? No. Does anybody know the national average? 60%. It is about 60%. So if you multiply by 0.6, you're gonna get about um, 86. Can anybody do the math for me? 120 times 0.6? 72. 72. Okay, there we go. That is the average of people that will plug in. How much do we get paid per sale? 210. 210. Okay, what is that total gross uh, gross profit? Fifteen thousand one hundred twenty. Fifteen thousand what? One hundred and twenty dollars. One hundred and twenty dollars. So that is how much the business made last week, gross. Everyone with me? Mm -hmm. Now, just like Starbucks has employees, we do too, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool, right? So we pay them. On average, if you're 5G, if you're an entry level, you get paid how much per sale? 70. 70. If level one, it's? 90. Level, uh, level two? 110. So we're gonna go the average, is it okay to go through 90? Mm -hmm. Is it okay to do that? Okay, cool, let's do 90. So let's do the uh, 72 sales again. Let's do this on the side. For how much? 72, so because that's how many sales delivered, times 90, equals how much? 6,480. Six thousand four hundred and what? Eighty dollars. We're gonna subtract that because that's how much we pay off first, and that equals how much? No, fifteen one twenty minus six four eight. Eight thousand six hundred forty. Eight thousand. Yes. I was like, that doesn't sound right, but I forgot the one thing. Six hundred forty. Six hundred forty. Okay. So we paid. Everyone got paid now. Everyone got paid what they were, uh, what they made. Right, is that what hits the bank account? Nope. No. no, we're still missing? $3, the expenses, so 3,000. How much it costs to run the business? And that gives us 5,634 bucks. And that is how much the business profited in, how long? One week. One week. Now they just pay us up whatever they pay us up there. Yes, you can pay yourself out of this. Or if you're going to the field still as an owner, think about it, this is what, if you ever wonder, hey, why does an owner go to the field? Let's talk about it. The reason why the owner goes to the field is now am I an asset or a liability to my business? Asset. Asset, because my pay came out of right here. I don't have to be another expense to my business, I can be an asset. So if I make five sales, I can pay myself just owner's profit and boom, that $1,000 I paid myself that week can be part of this one right here instead of this. And now that 5K just goes straight to my bank, uh, straight to my business. If you ever wonder why an owner goes to the field sale, that's why. Do your weekly expenses come out like automatically? Do you like, yeah, everything's on automatic. Okay. So if you don't do well that week, you can just go out for Sunday Savage and just tear it up <laughs> by yourself. I love it. <laughs> yeah, like I, I don't, I don't think about it like this. We're, I'm very like, I want to free up my mental real estate. So I also like Laura Porter. Also, I pay her a little bit extra. I pay her actually 125. Back then I did it, but I pay her 125, and she pays for everything. So she pays my rent. She pays everything. She handles all of that, the expenses. Everything's on auto pay, and she just gives me these reports. She does all your personal stuff too. Right? She does my personal. But that's a little. That's a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean her is cool. <laughs> So yeah, basically, if someone makes, let's say, um, like um, Karen, she did 23 sales, she's not supposed to have a 23 plug up, so it's just gonna be like out of 23, maybe like 14. Yeah, so if you wanna know, like the for the sales part, this is where we're gonna split up a little bit. Because think about it, I did 60%, right? On how many sales the office did. Yeah. It, it's, it's silly of me to do 120 sales times 210, because that's how, that's how, my, that's how much I'm not, um, I'm not gonna get paid. That's not the gross profit for the business. So you should be getting how many sales you do a week? 
and average it by your personal operating percentage. Some of you are higher, some of you are lower. Like Shamaya is the best in the office, hers is about 78%. So if she does 10 sales, 7.8 are gonna plug in. Does that make sense? If some people are on the lower 50s and 40s, we need to fix that, okay? But if you do 20 sales, with a terrible plug-in with the insulation rate, like you're gonna get nine. Like nine, yeah. Don't be mad at me. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> we have we have a plus play we have we have systems in place that way you can up the sixty percent. Everyone with me? Does anyone have any questions? Okay, now now you want to ask a question about how to keep expenses lower? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't go and get the twelfth floor of the top uh, of Bank of America Tower mm -hmm. uh, on North Hills. That's that's eight thousand dollars a month. One, I can't be loud. Two, that's a long elevator ride. Mm -hmm. Three, terrible parking. <laughs> terrible parking. And four, I like to be. It's, it's a nice view, Jason. I like the sun hitting. It's a very good view. 3201B. <laughs> Y'all live. Gotcha. Okay, cool. All right, so you, you determine your expenses. Like Alexis can be like, hey, Danny, I don't want to share an office with you. I can go get my own office. But then what would go up? Your rent. Her rent. If you turn it in, Alright, alright. Place them. Cool. Make sense? Yeah, we should split the rent with everyone. Yeah. They used to split it by three, though. I know, I love it. I love it. Thank you. Who else wants to get promoted? Let's, let's I know this from Let's send a piece spread now. My rent needs to be 60 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> let's have more owners than in inch loans. <laughs> <laughs> let's put them on the last wall, yeah. Everyone just running their own meetings? Yeah. To each other? Just, just, so let's hit all the circles. Got the owners type of car, right? Okay, what's up, brother? I just wanted to give like a clarification because it's different from water and 5G. So for 5G, if you guys do get 23 sales, you're not expected to get paid 2,300. Mm -hmm. So it's up to you. After you make the sale, it's, it's still up to you to like call the people back. And let them plug in so you can see them when they pay. If they don't plug in, you're not getting paid. You cannot imagine that they're actually involved. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> that, was only, that was the only good reaction I could do. Okay, yeah, and so for water, y'all are like, if y'all want to do it differently, okay, the, the best thing is, is yes, y'all do not get paid $90 a sale, but y'all's installation, like y'all's cancellation rate is like, like 92%. Like y'all have a great approval rate. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, because the moment the jugs touch the floor, you gotta get paid. So the profit for an owner, it, you don't have to multiply by 0.6. So if a license did 120 sales, you can multiply that by, I mean, I would only lower that to like maybe 110, 107. Does that make sense? So if you wanna know the difference between water and 5G, that's a good idea to talk about. Cool? Anybody have any questions over any of this? Did y'all like seeing this? Yeah. This is, this is, these are the expenses of an owner. Okay, this is what it costs. I think it's pretty cool because you're like three thousand dollars a week. It's like twelve k a month. You know what's cool about spending twelve k a month? You have twelve k to spend. That's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. Okay. Now, there's some owners that is every owner making one hundred twenty sales? No. No. So does every owner profit? No. No, guys. I, I'll be hundred percent honest. I'm not here to sell you a, a, a pretty picture and oh, everyone makes six figures or hey, everyone makes money right away. No. Hands up. There was one week. There, there, there was one week, or there was like two weeks, in my first eight weeks, where, where I was sick and I didn't go to the field and no one was running the office and it was like it was bad, and we did not do the sales we needed, and the business lost like two hundred bucks that week, or three hundred bucks or a thousand dollars. But it, our profit margins are so wide, are so huge that one good week can replace those bad weeks really easily. Does that make sense? So not every week is an owner making money. Not every week is a business profit. But when we do make money, we make money. Are there some owners that are profiting like this every single week? Do you think Richard's ever losing money? No. no. He has 83 guys going to the field every single day. He promotes an owner. He opens a company every month and a half. Imagine that statistic, bro. That's good. It's crazy, right? Someone gets a business every month and a half. Imagine being in that office. Ah. <laughs> Hire me. Cool. Anybody have any questions over this? I don't want to die. I don't want to go into a big of tangents. Yes. I don't have any questions, but for the people going out to Phoenix AZ, I do recommend them uh, sitting down with Chen and doing this with him because his is crazy. 
His is crazy. They do change per state. He eats like three thousand dollars a week. This man is crazy. Awesome. Yeah, that's good to know. I don't. Money laundering. Because my dog. Because my dog. I think he's done. I think he's done in excess. Yeah. He's been in a number of office two in a row. No, yeah, no, it's it's it's. it's when you're a business owner, guys, your, your, your expenses might be different. Richard told, taught me how to be frugal in the business because just as easy, as easily as it is $3,000, it could also be 10K mm-hmm. because I can go out there and be like, hey, guys, for team night, let's go rent out Kings. Let's go do stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone get whatever y'all want on there. And, and the business will cover it, but it's like, what, what do I gain out of that? King, Kings is a bowling alley. Kings bowling alley, It's in North Hills. Or like, hey guys, whoever gets 10 cents today, let's go to Capitol Grill. No, like if I do a one-on-one with you, we're going to Torchy's, and we're gonna get a $5 taco. <laughs> That's good, though. And it's fire. And it's still something, that's still, like I came from the, the, the humble beginnings that spending 20 bucks on, 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 on a meal is still like, ooh, am I that hungry? I stopped by Dave. And stuff like that. Yeah, we got shot. So it's like I never once w- do I think do I carry myself more like oh I have three thousand dollars to spend every week. No, okay. I'm trying. I'm trying to find ways like hey, let's put an owner in here so my rent can go down to six fifty forty. Because I'm doing the math. I'm like that's twelve k a year that I can save. Um. So even though Ebony is not here because she helps pay that part. No, she doesn't pay. Um, for your one she admin, broke right. you I'm so freaking happy for her. Are you including your Madison as well in that, or is that just like just Claire? Or? No, this is uh, so it's six hundred and then plus uh, um, Madison. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, so like my admin costs five hundred, and then Madison works whatever we pay her. It just says one. That's why I was. Yeah, yeah, no, because admin. most most owners will have an admin, and they do the the admin administrative work and the recruiting work gotcha. all in one. So I didn't want to confuse y'all. But it's usually admin slash recruiter for me. So it'll be like admin, and then it'll be Madison for my financials. Cool? And you have any questions on any of that? Did anybody, anything not make sense? Can y'all enjoy more meetings like this? A little bit more yeah. back end wise? Yeah. Yes. Cool, we do a lot of different types of meetings, okay? I think we need to get up, get the juices flowing again. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go on break.